Yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. Basically, one thing that you do that makes you better, that makes you more attractive to the man that you want, not attractive to just a regular Prayer. fucking weirdo. Like for example, you let's say you got a boob job. Well, you'd be attractive to um, any fucking guy, but like to the dream guy that you want that probably has options, that's attractive, that can get other girls. What do you do that makes you attractive? That makes you stand out. Prayer. Okay. Prayer. What about you? Wait, wait, hold on. Can you explain a little bit more? Just, just prayer. Sure. Um. A relationship with God, being more nurturing, working on myself every day in, in terms of femininity, caring. Is that why you're um, celibate? Um, I think I'm celibate because I don't want to have babies right now. So why would you have sex if you don't want to have babies? Work on them. She's spitting. I'm what? You spitting. Like oh, damn. Yeah. yeah, you spitting. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But what if you got in a serious relationship with a guy? Well, like if you got in a relationship with a guy, you wouldn't hook up with him at all? I would try not to. <laughs> Would okay. you be content with him leaving you then at that point? Sure. You would be? I would be okay with that. Okay. Some men have needs that I can provide, then that's okay. When's the last time you got laid? <laughs> Why would you ask me that question? I, 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 I'm going to run a pa panel on this one because it's always interesting whenever a podcast. girls say this. How many hours ago? Do I have to answer? Last night? No. How many hours ago? <laughs> you said how many hours ago? How many ago? hours ago? <laughs> said how many hours ago? Don't worry, I'm going to ask all the girls this. Okay. Um, very long time ago. Over a year? Yeah. Over two years? Mm, no. Year and a half? About. A year, so 18 months? What about you? What? I do not what? talk about my behind closed doors life okay, so publicly, but. Hours it's hours the nigga that she said that she's in a situation <laughs> ship. No, yeah. it's not yeah, yeah, a situation yeah. ship. No, it's not. It's just it's a complicated situation that has. has oh, it wasn't been. him. <clears throat> Hold on, please. Here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not in a situation ship. I'm in a complicated situation. No, no, no. Did you hear yourself? I'm not. I didn't say it's. I'm saying it's a complicated situation that has been going on for two and a half years. That's we were. That's we the were literal definition at, of a situation ship. It's not. We were at the I, point of engagement. So, like, it's not a situation ship. It's just something that is, like, I hold it sacred and I don't think it's appropriate to talk about it. Um, publicly and and just out of did respect. You, did you break? Person. Hold on. Did you break off the engagement with him? Uh, he likes. Uh, um, a lot has happened, and I will. Um, I think we'll always have love and respect for each other, but it has been like very recently up in the air. So I'm just. I don't. I don't know. I can't really. I don't really know where we stand right now. We literally had a fight. Like who broke it off? Night. You or him? Uh, <laughs> me. Yeah, me. I set the I push the, the <clears throat> snowball up the hill kind of thing um and what do i do that makes me attractive to the per the person or the people that i Your want to attract yeah. my dream man um i eat really healthy i cook like all my meals and eat really healthy and work out um and then i do full body laser mm. every six weeks interesting <laughs> i'm gonna come back to yeah, the was. last time because i genuinely believe that there's a majority of women are either always they're, they're smashing somebody bro like there's no way like these girls run around and say that they're celibate maybe five to ten percent but like the other 90 are sexually active with somebody toy, or they have toys don't need or they have to. toys yeah, if you have a rose but, toy but, but, but even then with the toy is they, they really have enough. some dude that's in their rotation that they've hooked up with before that they feel like they're not collecting a body from or some <laughs> shit like that yeah. for you it's probably him or it might have been someone else which is why maybe you want to disclose X. it um but i, I find it interesting so you broke off the engagement we were not engaged. He did tell me that we had, like, we had gone ring shopping. Um, he had, like, kind of told me about his plans for what he wanted to do. How do we work it? Like, this was, you know. Why didn't it work out? How old is he? He, uh, he's, I'm 23 and he is turning 34, so he's quite a bit older. He's a great, great, great person. Like, very, like, financially stable, um, provider takes care of himself um he so was so what'd you do to fuck this one up then <laughs> um actually it, it because wasn't because men never end relationships it's always women you're Unless just 24 you did something. that's why it wasn't well, yeah she said he was a good man though he is so a good man and, what, and to be fair happened? like the last thing that well, she we said she ended it the last exactly. thing that we said oh, to each other was, was like you know i'm getting on a plane i love stupid. you i care about you and that's and, what you said yeah why and because I stood. Because you're if, stupid. If for whatever reason I got in a plane crash, I actually had a near death experience a couple of days ago, and he like we weren't on speaking terms at the time, and he came to the hospital being like, oh "So my he God, loves like, you." He loves me 100. percent He's stupid why would you, too. Why would you jump the bag? He's dumb as a monk. Because she's stupid. I just said it. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh my God. Yeah, I think I'm I'm disrespectful when you're stupid. Maybe you'll wake up and go back to that man. Stop being stupid and go back to him. He sure. fucking loves you. 
Yeah, Wake up, and, bitch. I, and I love him too. And that's. Do you not have men in your family who tell you shit like this? They're supposed to talk to you like this. Wake up, bitch. Go back to no, that man. He loves you. To talk he to wants you. to yeah. marry you. Men are not yeah, supposed the, to talk the to men you in my yes, family. Yes, the fuck they are. Because no, you're men, being stupid. The men in my so family saucy. definitely, definitely. Let this resonate you when, when you go home. Answer. Go back to that motherfucker. Stop being stupid. <laughs> the the men in my family definitely <laughs> deliver a similar message, but with a much more gracious and respectful. Well, you're not <laughs> listening to their gracious ass message, are they? You're still in a fucking situation ship and don't know it. I am. I'm an adult and I'm not in a situation ship. <laughs> oh, um, I. Ask the chat. Just... Let me, let me Is say she this. in a situation ship or not? Okay. Let me let me just say this. Let's, let's get through this. Comment um, yes or no in the chat. Let me just say this. I think. Um, and the reason why I ask these questions isn't to like shit on you or anything like no, that. I just course. think that what I've realized with women, right, is that you guys have this mentality of the grass is always greener on the other side. I don't think the grass is greener on the other side, but at it, a certain point it gets to. Men and it's think a, that's a similar. Too. It's a similar thing with my father, my biological father. And sorry to cut you off, but it's not, it's not that it's greener on the other side. It's almost you just ended like the relationship, right? It's mm. almost just like it's so bad. It has gotten so bad that I would deflect, rather deflect, have deflect, nothing. Deflect. Yeah, but you ended the relationship, correct? Right. <laughs> at, at first he did. At first he did, and then. Why did he end it? Because men don't end relationships ever. Right. You must um. Be rarely do they end I'm relationships. I'm trying to think. Very the rarely. first time that like it came to this. She's point. trying to think something that sounds good for the internet no, instead no. of being real. I'm just trying to think. It was two years ago, so I'm just trying to think <laughs> what, so what recent, brought then, it up to that point. But it's, it's a serious situation in your life. You should know exactly what the fuck yeah. happened. Stop lying into the chat and be real. What the fuck. I'm not lying. I'm sorry. I'm like, was it okay? Was it was it? Was, did it have to do anything with? Because normally the only things that I've seen guys leave a woman for is like infidelity. That's typically like the only thing that most, not most, but a lot of guys just simply won't accept. Was that what it was? Um. Keep it a thousand. I like. I'm gonna say this. We both made mistakes, and cool. I won't say it's not like eye for an eye. So but he mutual. made. He just made, answer the question. Did you cheat or not? He made a mistake. Yes, first. she cheated. So he cheated first, and she got get back. And this is my Stupid. thing, and this is no that. disrespect to the girls who do OnlyFans or, or you know, like that's your. Why are you deflecting income? instead of answering the questions directly? I'm, what is I'm your about problem? to. If you'll let me finish. No, like let's you're let, being stupid. Let's, let's, let let let's let her finish. Let's let her. This let guy, finish. this guy's just finish. stocking diapers around his mouth. Like, what's going because on? You're, because you're spouting words. Because I'm spouting words and I'm being stupid. Do you have anything constructive to say? Because it's like people are calling you sassy and cornball. No, no, that is very constructive. Calling you stupid when you're stupid. It's because I love you. Okay. Call you stupid. <laughs> like, like, if we're yeah. family, if, if he's being stupid. we're family, we're we love family, each other. But you you're stupid. Don't you call your man <laughs> stupid if he's being stupid because you love him, right? This bitch is being stupid. My Here, let's let her, let's let her finish, Brandon. Yeah. The, the All right, All right so go it. ahead. So you you were saying so he made a mistake. You made a mistake following up. Uh, yeah. So just no okay, disrespect sure. to to the people who who consume um you know OnlyFans or, or porn yeah. or anything like that or even physical. He had a porn addiction. Um. I would I would say like if you're not able to after setting a clear boundary that like our time is reserved for us and I don't want there to be any external distractions from that including porn and especially paid porn like how how is it supposed to make me feel when you're paying money like as the provider you're paying money to consume something when That's like crazy. I'm willing to do anything to like please you you know what okay. I mean I I have a question for you real quick yeah what if he left the house <laughs> for another woman and would that be better than paying for porn? Yeah, I would actually rather. What? I would rather. That makes no wow. sense. But I would rather. I would rather. No, and, and this it is why. That actually does make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would rather because if you seek out a connection, a physical connection with somebody in organic, and, and maybe there's even some emotional, mental, spiritual something you're getting from it, I would rather you go in and consume it that way as opposed to, like, virtual, unrealistic expectations, mm -hmm. like... Pay, sense, something I that guess. you're paying for like you're using it. our money the money that we go to costco and we buy groceries you're going to use that money to go and buy porn like that upsets me actually you know as a provider, I, you know, hold on hold on man that look, makes look, sense that would be upset too that what you just said i don't know if the chat's going to understand that what you said is extremely r real in other words she would rather you go actually do the work be attractive fuck another bitch come back to her than spend her resources because that's a woman depends on you when you're the provider right security and her de jeopardize her security yep for some hoes online so, okay, but you do realize that like it would be very difficult for you to like satisfy him the way he wants 
Because a lot of times when guys watch porn, it's not because their girl isn't hot or they're not satisfied by their girl. Right. It's because men yearn for variety. And unfortunately, one woman, spice of life. Woman, women, unfortunately, can never satisfy that by themselves. Yeah. Right. So. I also think it can be, it can come into really strong, like, um, prominence when there's um, fetish, like something specific, that like an itch they're trying to scratch. Yeah. Which, what was his fetish? T Tommy, what do you think about this? Because I, I know you want to say something. I, I can see it in your face. Yeah, go ahead, Tommy. I mean, there's several ways to look at it. She has a point, but then if he's seeing somebody in real life, he's spending money in real oh, life. Yes, yeah. he's not not spending money. Which is and more, one probably. thing you can't catch if he just loves the shit out of the internet <laughs> is STDs. Mm. It ain't a bitch gonna run up on you at Costco and whoop your ass because she fucking your man. I wish they would try. She's not gonna show up pregnant <laughs> if the internet bitch show up pregnant. That'd be you're, impressive. You're right. You're absolutely right. Uh, so I mean. On its face, at first, what you said makes sense, and then when you break it down logically, it makes no sense. No sense. No, I, I hear. But I what feel you're you personally. So when people make arguments, a personal argument, I'd have nothing against. It's it. my yeah. It's That's my story. Right. It's so my story. So whenever people do that, that, like there are people the who okay with somebody sleeping with their wife, and they call those guys cuckold. But if that's what makes them happy, that's what makes them happy. So I'm a big believer in that. So if you know what makes you mad and if it makes you mad that this man is having a relationship online where it just looks to you like it's like that's some fake ass shit like that's weird to well, you yeah and then uh, i saw you alluded to it but you didn't go into it but it sounded like she was talking about some fucked up fetish porn that she's like wait a minute you're into that yeah there's yeah. a part. There's uh, a, a level that's why to it's that weird. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm also a psychologist. Probably some weird know. shit. And it's funny because like, because at least if you cheat and she finds out you fucked the yes, bad bitch, yeah. she's like, okay, I can respect that. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Versus you know whatever he might have been whacking it to. Because you're like, stuff. well, what do I do? Yeah. with This. Yeah. But but also this is yeah. like, who you are you? Yes. But also you make a point, Tommy, because the money he spends on paying for dates, getting food, drinks, whatever, it's still money. You know, first it's coming period. out of the house, so it's coming out regardless. The point he was looking at made him lower status and rise. That's exactly. what it is. Yeah. Something, yeah. It okay, was weird. It was it's weird. the equivalent of if if you talk about real life, if your woman see you fuck somebody and she's like, I could accept you fuck somebody, but this bitch look like Gollum. And let's also like I know and and these lovely ladies and they're and they're beautiful and and you know all that stuff. Shout but out like to Lord we of Rings. we know I think we all know as women like. It's that would something, be ridiculous. It's, yeah, it's if I caught my man on OnlyFans. Yeah, like it's such a strong power that we have, and we know it's like these clowns are consuming. Like they're paying for Literally. it, and like yeah, you yeah. you got you know you got got like, exactly. So it's like my man consuming that is like I don't want to be with like like goofy. a person. Yeah, like a goof. <laughs> like, yeah, he's a simp. Brandon, yeah. short and sweet. What's your take on this? <laughs> Bro, she just yapping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see her perspective. Nobody I mean, I, uh, I see her perspective that um, it's more redeemable that he had the ability to attract another attractive woman versus looking at whatever porn he was looking at. We don't even know what it is. It could be tranny porn. It could be some weirdo shit. It could be kid shit. Yeah, we don't. Who knows? I wouldn't what? go that far. Okay. I hope okay. not. If Can it I ask was, some they, he would be in jail. Questions? Yeah. Oh, no. So <laughs> I, I, it was probably some weird shit because guys like some strange, but it probably was something that was, was it animals? Can you stop? Wait, you have to look at it this way, too. When she sees that another woman is willing to actually get with you, that's completely different than she knows this other woman probably ain't paying you no attention. Exactly. You're just paying her. Hit yeah. the like, she don't even know exactly. you exist. Yeah. <laughs> she does yeah. not care about sucks. you as a point. woman. Good point. Yeah. Good point. It makes her man look crazy. Exactly. Shouts out to Georgia Tech. Yeah. And that's exactly why I would prefer yeah. if you were to find a connection, you know, if you were to meet a beautiful woman on the so street. So you would have been okay with him stepping outside of the relationship from time mm -hmm. to time? It's sexually. not that I would be okay with it, but like I would feel less It'd embarrassed. Be and it I would have more face. I would have more better. understanding. Right. I would be willing to have more of a like, okay, I can <laughs> okay. understand. It's like finding out your girl was fucking a dude, but she was he was rich and she was getting shit from it and was bringing it home to you versus your girl was taking the money you work for and giving it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I mean, it's so fucked up, but yeah. Yeah, let's yeah, it's just, it's one let's I, I see, it's yeah, I see, I see, because one, one in one angle, at least her man's higher status and value, like, yeah, these bitches want him, but on the other one, oh my guy's of lower value, giving these random bitches or whoever the fuck it is, paying them. Yeah, he's, he's not even a so I understand, lame. I understand that. Yeah, Simps. okay, Brandon. All right, uh, yeah. Brandon, what's up, man? <laughs> None of these examples that y'all are giving it as metaphors are even kind of the same. Like, can I ask a couple of very serious questions that aren't sexual? Please. Do you like this man's character? Um, yeah, Please. yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you does, do you like his job? Does he have a decent job? Does he does he make decent money? 
He does make decent money. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 that's, he that's does. It. No, no, he we, does. We're getting straight to it. Does does, does he have kids? No. And he does not. <sighs> he wasn't cheating on you. I mean, no, 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 please. Other than what no, no, like no, has been discussed, that is please. cheating. Like that, it, you get to determine what's cheating, right? You get to determine what uh, is important to you, what upsets you, what's crossing a boundary. Exactly and for boundaries. Me, and for me, that crossed a boundary. Maybe like there are lots of relationships where people are able to have like what the first month of Un- a week, understandable. But I think month. he means more from the conventional standpoint sure. of actually entertaining a real physical material Who relationship knows? with a Maybe female. Maybe you don't even know. Maybe uh, that's, what he's, that's what he's asking. Conventional cheating. I think that lining up a um, session with a sex worker is oh. cheating. That is oh, okay. Okay. You didn't say that. He was trying to say that. Okay. I'm trying, okay. To, I'm trying yeah. to keep it, you know, it's he's still a person. You're holding back, so we can only go off of what you tell us. Yeah. yeah. No, no, back so right. she, she said he might be watching, that. and they might get back together, so she's not trying to put no, it. No, no, she's not. You can tell she's respectful of people's business. Like, she doesn't want to put his business out there. It's just his privacy, and he didn't choose to be on here. I did, and he happened to be a part of my life, so I'm just trying to keep it as, Yeah. you know. But, I mean, that changes things a lot. Yeah, but now, do you say you try is. to line up you a meetup? That, that's 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 significantly different than just fapping and porn. 100. percent Right. Yeah, that's like, why I said she was lying. <laughs> I told you guys from the beginning. Didn't I say that? I clocked this shit, man. <laughs> yeah, but you don't need to have me on a regular guest on this show. Okay, okay. Talk a little bit. I always like to hear them out. Yeah. I knew something else was going I saw on too. Your eyes mm. going back and forth. You want to comment on this? No. All right, let's move on. Overly opinionated. Anything to comment on? This is stupid. What about you? Me. Oh, me. How would you improve? How would I improve? One trait for your dream man. I think the only thing that I really need to improve is the way that I make money. So I'm working on other efforts and methods to make money. So uh, yeah, she wants to get out of OnlyFans. Essentially. Okay, I'm assuming. <laughs> oh. Essentially. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you bring, you bring money to your dream man? Um, not that I would bring money to my dream man. I just know that I shouldn't be pursuing a relationship while I'm in this field because I've had multiple failed relationships already. And also, the type of man that I'm going to be attracted to would not be okay with me doing OnlyFans. So, understandable. But you think you, you might have shot yourself in the foot already, though? Um, yeah. And actually, you're going through the questions right now. One of my questions is okay. uh, on there. It's in blue. So. Okay. Uh, uh, sorry, you want to say something? Honest, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I want to say something. Go ahead. You super to... real. My bad. Go ahead. I just wanted to ask you, like, um, since OnlyFans, everything's on the internet, right? And right. everything can come back to you. Don't you think that, like? when you have your man that you are attracted to and everything, that he might go back and see all of that stuff? Um, Yeah, that's definitely a real concern for me. And so I'm kind of stuck in a standstill where I already have a child and I have multiple failed relationships and I did make the choice to go into this field. So I sometimes wonder if marriage is in the cards for me at all. Um, I would hope that it is and I would hope after a few years of not doing it anymore that that stuff would go away because it's behind a paywall. But um, I'm not 100%. I don't don't know what the future holds. Okay, Mm -hmm. okay. That shit don't ever go away. Well, at least she's blunt. See, about I would say she's all right. <laughs> yeah, I, at least she's blunt. She ain't even giving no pretty, bullshit answers. Pretty matter of fact, I mean, but, but her, her honesty and her integrity, I would say at this point, so, I think is admirable. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. Yeah, and your question is is here. Um, what do you recommend to women who have already chosen to be in the sex industry? Should they continue because it's too late, or is there hope for that woman to find a lifelong partner in the future if they choose a new path? Um, I'll turn it to the guest first, and I can give my take on it. Tell me, what are your thoughts, and then we'll go to Brandon. I don't think people would let it bother them like that as far as like what they've gone through now. Because I think every guy knows that he's walking into somebody else's shoes at this point. At this point, yeah. Yeah, so I think that what it is is how you carry yourself. Because if you look at it, Kanye West had no problem marrying Kim Kardashian. And she Facts. they knew what she did. It's to how you carry yourself at a certain point in time. Um Cleaning it up is probably going to be a problem when you go into PTA and shit like that. Right. But as far as finding a man, we know we already step into somebody's shoes anyway. So that's just how I look at it. Okay. Brandon? Um, I'm a big individuality respecter. Like, for example, I would never address you or you or you the way I address this one. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's different. I have to know. I don't know shit about you until I learn you. That being said, when you dating, dating, you only got to get it right once. And your mindset is going to make you successful in dating because you accept reality. Do you know how many women are delusional? Do you know how many women on TikTok have built their following off being fake delusional? And bitches in the comments are like, yes, that's me, bitch. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that you live in reality 
is really so if there's a PTA meeting and the shit goes around and yada 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 they found you busting that shit open or whatever from ten years ago, your your kid might have to change schools. You, right. you 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 live in reality and that's cool. Right. You know what I'm saying? So if, if a guy finds out and he could be with you for three years, but it, 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 that's not in his 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 morality, he can't fucking do. It. You're like, this hurts, but I understand. Right. I think she live in reality. Tell him up front, so you, of yeah, I, I mean, think, prepare him. But you never know though. Like you never know because we, we we got guys. We got you got you got egos. You know. We cool as shit until motherfuckers start roasting your ass. You know what I'm saying? The problem is I'm a huge believer in the law of attraction. So it's like, being that I'm in this field, I've become, and I'm also a single mother, I've become very, very masculine in the way that I carry myself. So it's like, I'm not going to continue dating when I'm attracting these feminine men. Like, I'm attracting men with no cars, shit jobs. You live like, in reality, you know girl. Like, like, you a uh, single you, mom? Yeah. You let him be but thank you for showing and being honest uh, with what's the, uh, your take audience. on this fresh honestly speaking gotcha we have, a, we have a wow. culture this. in this manuscript to say that we want virgins and I understand because having a virgin is awesome, so to speak, because it's not touched at all by any man. But reality speaking, are we getting virgins nowadays? No. It is what it is, bro. Got OnlyFans, prostitution, girls getting dick down by hella dudes. As a result, what do you find out there? It's in your face. Now, for your, for your honesty, I mean, like, that's admirable for sure. And it's like, at this point, if the man understands where, where you're coming from and is cool with it, honestly, what's, what's wrong with that? How about this? Are most men going to be like that? <laughs> Probably not. No, and a lot of the men that I um, have chosen to date in the past mm. will tell me that they're okay with it, and then they... At the beginning. Yeah, right, and then they, they build emotions for me, an emotional connection, yep. and now it's, you have to delete it this, you have to <laughs> change your entire lifestyle. Now, 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 could you imagine, you meet a guy that's cool with it, and then let's say, Brandon, Tommy, me and Myron say, yo, bro, this this your chick? Put up a video, he's going to be like, fuck. And that's yeah. hurt his soul. Absolutely. So... As a result, that's what you got to deal with at this point. Right. It's reality. But mm -hmm. she lives in reality, so she's good. You know exactly. what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying she's going to be all right. Because at the end of the day, it don't matter how many times you get it wrong, you only got to get it right once. Right. I would that's like to dating. be out of the game by the time I'm 25. I mean, but how old are you now? 22. Uh oh, okay. <laughs> that's what like, 24. I got a year. I got a year. You know what I'm saying? You'd be all right. All right, so you mentioned that, like, and I wrote down some notes here as you were talking and the other guys were talking to you. Because uh, I'm really trying to give you the best answer I really can here. Yeah. Right. That's that's well measured and not you, to kind of give you the, the raw. You mentioned <laughs> earlier that you dated a bunch of guys that tend to have feminine tendencies, right? Yes. Don't like, have their money together. No cars. Pussies, let you take leadership roles, et cetera, right? Yes. Okay. So what I found with hyper-dominant masculine men that women find the most attractive is they typically also correlated with... Uh, behavior, uh, behavior tendency of being very um, territorial, right. right? So the more masculine the guy is, the more dominant he is, the more assertive he is, and the more successful he becomes, typically him being territorial with his woman goes up alongside it, right? right? So the men that you're looking for, right, that you want, that these feminized men aren't necessarily being, would disqualify you off rip in most situations, which right. is a problem. Um Am I saying you can't find this guy? Is it possible? Of course it's always possible, but I think one of the biggest things that girls don't get is that possible and probable are two different things. So the probability of you finding a guy that's hyper masculine, has his shit together, is attractive, has money, is charming, charismatic, and funny, with a nice smile, and loves dogs, and wants to have a family, and all this other shit, taking a girl like you seriously in a relationship is extremely slim. Right. Because he can find another girl that looks like you, that has your traits, that doesn't do that work and doesn't have a child. Right. And that's how men that are very successful tend to think. They think objectively in that regard where I have a bunch of girls that want me. Why would I go for this when I can get something else? So I think women that get into certain lines of work, whether it's OnlyFans, pornography, even showing a lot of skin on Instagram or being a model or whatever where you're like using your sexuality to make yourself money, it comes with long-term consequences that you might not foresee when you get into the field. And yeah. then some girls say, well, I'm going to do it for a bit, make my money and get out. But the problem is that it it's always happens. gonna follow you and the man is always gonna have a problem with it to some degree. That's why you had this issue before where they're like, oh, well, it's okay, it's not a problem, and then they switch up later on. Right. So yeah, I, I think um I think the chances of you this what this is my basic thing. You're not gonna find a dream man. 
That's the bottom line. So I should you're, settle. You're, you need, yes, you need to get comfortable <laughs> with settling with a guy that, let's say, he's not the most attractive, but he takes care of you and he's a good man. Or he's that, a little feminine. That, that might be what you have to settle for. Or you get with a guy that's hyper attractive, does takes care of you, but he doesn't have the most money, and you guys got to go 50-50. Basically, what I'm saying is that you're not going to get a complete package. You're going to have to concede on something. Right. So what I would say is, maybe if you don't care about height as much, look at guys that are below six feet. That was my last ex, and he was also, we were just talking about, like, cucks and stuff. He was into that type of shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, it yeah. started to get really bad. I had to break up with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was very, very insecure. Well, 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 that said, yes. okay, wow. let, me, yes. let me give you some tips, Where though. did you meet him? There's some oh things that should be right. not meet right. this right. cucks, so, He's white. He was white. Oh, there it is. She's keeping it real. She's keeping it real. Long as he black. I'm going to give you a list of things that I don't think you should, that should be not negotiables <laughs> right right uh i don't think you should do try to do a 50 50 relationship the guy should pay the predominant amount of bills he should be a, the decision maker he should be the head of the household um and he should like go to the gym and have some kind of masculine semblance about him other right. than that good looks whatever maybe you might not get that but i think if he has those four things in line that's going to put him in a position to be a good father at least absolutely bare minimum and i think that's the most important thing so yeah you just won't get your dream guy unfortunately well thank you yeah what about and you? thanks for being such a goddamn good sport about yeah, it. Yeah, no, yeah, I like her. Her. I would say she's one of the most I want humble and like understanding. Yeah. So. She she belongs the what was the question again? Don't worry, we got you. No, oh, got you. Stupid. The question was, <laughs> if you were going to find your dream man, what would you bring to the table for him? Okay. Um, I'm definitely like a best friend, like the only friend a man needs. That's it. <laughs> that's not good. No, no, because they really like. A girl I, that's like, not good. I've, I like. I that. have. I'm in this. I'm not a situationship. I don't want to say a relationship, but I am sort of like for a year and a half. And even before that, like in high school, da da da. Like whenever I have a boyfriend, it's always like I'm their best friend. Like they don't even like. They just tell me like all their like secrets you know what i mean they tell me about their business like they're like what do you think what do you think and i'm always like right there like and i'm i'm just their best friend so you're gonna offer your dream man friendship i can offer my dream man whatever he wants everything okay. i can cook i don't we have our i don't right clean there. though Oh, yeah. But I, I don't think I'm going to have any problem. I, I feel like I'm at a point where I'm like, I don't even know what my dream man is. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel well, like that's that, just yeah, a fairy yeah, yeah. tale. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. before, yeah. like, I used to dream of, like, you know, like, oh, we are finding a rich man, da da da, da. But then I, I'm like, wait a second. That's I got to get this shit on my own real quick. Like, I cannot wait. Like, you know what I mean? I, I want to get it right now. Like. I just, I don't care what a man has to think. I know that eventually when I do find, like, when I do, like, want to sit down and think about marriage and having kids, I already know that, like, I'm going to have no problem, like, finding a man. I, I'm not going to have any problem because whoever I end up with, he's not going to be a square. You so, know, you know what crazy? is a square? Uh, her, a her saying that, person. she'll find a man. Okay. But is it the man that you actually want? I don't care if he's the hottest guy in the world. I don't care, like, about looks. Before, I used to care about how a guy looks. I think how long has this guy... When was the last time he got pussy? Like, over here. Anyways. Well, um, I mean, so okay. are you content with what I told her? That, like, w if you choose certain professions, you're going to have to concede yeah, on some, on some things? Yeah, I already accepted that a long time ago. Right. And at this point, I'm just like, fuck these... Like, the nice guys, like... I don't like you're everybody's a loser like you what? know what I mean like I, the I, nice guys like I don't want that shit I'm sorry say, hey, like, you wonder I, why we call you oh bitch my no. you like, call you it's bitch. not like you call a bitch, you call like, guys losers and you wonder why I call you a bitch shut the fuck up anyways <laughs> right. like who is this guy for real I'm anyways. a male apologist that's what I am because I have a look dick. at you instead of holding up a racks you're holding up diapers <laughs> have you not have you not caught the joke by now bitch you're stupid I know you don't get jokes no I I I just didn't think it was funny that's I, I don't think nobody thought it was funny. Nobody um, laughed. Two million views. Uh, we'll show you. I got <laughs> millions of views too. Do you know in my playlist that says a million plus on TikTok, I have 50 videos with he a million views. He is so views. cool. Yeah, everybody clap! Everybody clap! Thank you. I'm clearly, I'm clearly hilarious, bitch. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so just going back to what I was saying. So, because my thing is this, because we've brought a lot of girls on, right? That you know maybe they might have been a stripper, Poor or Tommy. they did OnlyFans, or they did porn, or whatever, and they still think they deserve a guy that's like six foot four with a great smile, charismatic, family man, loves dogs, and he's the dream guy. And I'm like, I think if you do certain things as a woman, right? If you fuck up your past, you've kind of hurt your future, right? Whereas like for men, it's like if your future isn't bright, girls aren't gonna want to fuck with you. So, 
I mean, as long as y'all kind of know that you're going to have to lower your standards significantly, because here's the other thing, too. Especially you being at Booby Trap, you've probably dated or been around very successful men. And I see, like, how men are. I think that's exactly where I changed my mindset, working there. I'm like, yo, look at all these fucking celebrities, millionaires, billionaires, and I'm just like, none of these men ain't shit, like... You know what's crazy well, I, about, about I, being in well, a club? What, what, that's the thing, though. I'm in a, in a small, yeah. closed environment. Yeah. I know there is stuff out there, but the thing is, this is where I'm at right now. Like, so, I feel like eventually when... when I feel like when I... Merch. N- when I'm not into OnlyFans, like, I don't know when that's going to be, but... But let's be honest here. You've dated and or dealt with these high-caliber men before. Yes. You're not an ugly girl, right? So you I probably mean, have dealt with these guys. <gasps> I mean, yeah, but yeah. So, because, and let me tell you why that's important. So, after talking to almost 3,000 of you ladies, I've noticed one glaring trend. Over Over 3,000 girls. It's very difficult for girls to go backwards. So, in other words, if they date Mm -hmm. a guy that makes $100,000 a year, the next guy better make Mm $150,000. If they date a guy that makes a million a year, it's going to be very difficult for them to go back to a guy that makes 100K a year. Does that make sense? So, what I've noticed with girls that like are in fields where they're around higher status, affluent men, is they think, okay, these are the men I'm around all the time. These are the men I deserve. Mm. No, I definitely don't think I deserve. I don't. That's why right. I don't work at the all club right. anymore. Okay. Right. I don't deserve okay. those Facts. kind of okay. men. Right. We, we got you. So yeah. you Facts. haven't been poisoned yet, allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I'm, I'm poisoned, and I Facts. am poisoned. Yeah. Okay, so you're yeah. poisoned. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's yeah. tainted. Okay. Uh, what about you? I believe it. The question again. So the question is stupid. Let's just move on from that question. It's a gay question. They're gonna give bullshit answers. What would they do to be attractive for their dream man, bro? They're gonna say a bunch of cookies. I want to hear her answer though, because she has her dream man. Sure. So I have. Yeah. We'll I mean, go with her and okay. then we'll go because well, we got a lot of chats. One answer. Oh, me? Yeah. What would you give your your dream man? My whole personality is. Got it. Personality. Yeah. What I tell you? For you. Right? Exists. Oh. Same oh. thing. Like... I, I used to think he was so fine until you just said I'm that. The... She said okay. exists. So, yes. Oh my god. What about you? The things that. Hey, at least you keep it real. That's how other. That's yeah, how girls that's think. How they think that's me. how they think, though. That's why I me. thought she was fine until she said that. You can't be mad. That. Yeah, you can't be mad. That's how they think. That's the thing. Every girl I date is super fine, so I listen to what you say. As soon as you open your mouth, I'll be like, oh my God. <laughs> You're just one of those. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? So I guess the things I did to get my dream man and to keep him um, made sure I'm into fitness. I mean, I gained a ton of weight in my old marriage and I lost over 100 pounds after I got divorced. Slide mm-hmm. queen. Um, I mean, Went to etiquette classes, went to finishing school. Oh, shit. Um, you wow. put your own money into that probably too, right? Mine and my family. I told y'all okay. she was wow. spitting. Didn't I tell y'all from the beginning so, she was spitting? Stay feminine. I mean, I go to the gym all the time. I work out with a trainer. I eat really clean. Yeah, um, but she hit a Hail Mary, man. So shout out to her, man. Yeah, no, no, no. Lie. She didn't hit a Hail Mary. Yeah. She, she earned that shit, bro. You heard the shit she just said she did? Yeah. She worked on herself. Yeah. And she knew yeah. what men wanted. So, and she became attractive so, to the kind of men that she wanted. Yeah. So so she became independent in the sense of self development. And that's yes. hard to find because most women are like, oh, take me as I am. She said, no, fuck that. I'm going to work on myself, become better for my dream man. That's, I mean, because I congrats. have a very masculine job. Well, like, I, I love this chick, bro. Like, and so I knew I needed to have the femininity for yeah. the, my dream guy. That's yeah. why they say you have to become to a wife. So he didn't care about your career whatsoever, right? He didn't become a wife. He, yeah. did, he, he retired yeah. me. He didn't he give a shit about your job yeah. at all. He when retired he, he cut my hair. When he proposed, like he you. told me to quit my job. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, cool. That's good. You know what? Um, Never mind. What, Chris? Right. What are you going to say? Um... Also, how's the sex life? I mean, like, like, <laughs> Chris, come on, man. Did you fuck up? I, I'm because the girls are watching the show, right? They're like, oh, well, how can I become married? You know, with a ring as big as hers. True story. So guys want to know, like, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, once a day, three times a day, like, like, how did you get him, man? Chris asking yeah. the right question. Come on, man. Like, yeah, him, man. get him, Chris. Come on, man. Your brain isn't enough, man. You don't have to give like an XXX How's answer. Give, 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 3, 000, give man. the PG thirteen version. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, honestly, as much as he wants, but I know I initiate a lot of times too. Mm. Okay, there we go. There, there we go. That's there a real go. good answer. There you go. go. That's the etiquette class that, for you. Is that what you call genuine burning <laughs> yeah. desire? Yeah. That's that. That's that dick etiquette class right there. You She learned that shit. Okay. To keep having respect for myself. I think that's very important because if I don't have respect for myself, I'm not going to find someone that's loyal to me or that's going to want a future with me or is going to want kids with me. So I feel like... Merch. Okay. I feel Notice. like if they see... You lost me in the beginning, but you got me now. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, there yeah. You go. Yeah, that makes a lot keep of sense. Keep having respect towards yeah, myself yeah, because... Yeah. Yeah. My old relationship, he taught me a lot. I'm not gonna lie. He taught me that guys will always cheat. 
they were always <laughs> cheat no matter what, but you just gotta stick so by then... them. You gotta <laughs> stick by them. I love okay. this bitch. <laughs> She lives right, in reality. Like five years from now, the same coochie gets old. We no. don't want something else. She no. How many of you agree Cheating that men are always going to cheat? Though. Raise your hands, ladies. How many of you agree that men are always going to cheat? Okay, only, only, I'm th- not a lady, only three. I... Yeah, yeah, only three. I, I... Okay, I was asking the girls, but yeah. All right, sorry, you can continue on what you're saying. I do think they're always going to cheat. I mean, unless they are with God, I, with and God, that's the kind I'm of man so we need to look for. Hold on, hold on. But are you also, it's also rare. I didn't leave with him, no. So. Okay. Right. You guys him? Please. Yeah, yes. bro. Go ahead. Tom Awesome, a man of God. How many wives did the niggas in the Bibles have? How many wives did the niggas in the Bible have? How many wives did the niggas in the Bible have? How many wives do niggas in the Bible have? Can we talk about it? Can we talk about it? If you're Muslim, how many wives are you allowed to have? All the religions say the men can have as many wives as they want. All the religions say be fruitful and multiply to all the men. All of the religions say. So whenever y'all say that, unfortunately, you're speaking you're speaking the fact that we should be polygamous. You're speaking Ooh, no. it. You're speaking it. You brought God into it, miss. You can't take God out of it now. Well, all well. the religions say that all the men should have as many wives as they can handle. Hey! That's hey. not true. No. Yes, okay. they do. Read the scriptures. Uh, I ain't gonna tell me. Uh, all of them, I tell you. I tell you. Uh, who's who's okay. Muslim in here? You wanna, we gotta take our shoes off. Sure. Don't, don't, don't they say you can have as many wives as you can afford yeah, and take my, care yeah. of? Wait, who yeah, said that? God said that. Where did he say that? In the Bible and the Quran. Okay, multiple times. What's How many it? wives did Mo- 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 Abraham Moses and him have? Hold on, hold on. For Adam. Can, I, can, I, can I say something really quick? Oh, my God. I, don't, I, I can only speak to Islam. That. Four wives <laughs> is what you can up to, but you got to treat them all equally. You heard sure. me? Okay. So he, he was talking about the Bible, Who was the nigga right? in the Bible that had 100 wives? Hold up, though. Hold uh, up, King though. King Solomon. Because if you talk about King Solomon, if you talk about King Solomon, he did go outside God's will, and that's why he fell. And he admitted Not to that, too. Not with the too. wives. But he admitted that no, foreign no. international women were, was his downfall. And and if you say men, I gotta are, cut you off because it's irrelevant. True. It's irrelevant though. We're talking about the number. How is Listen, it irrelevant? No, no, no. Because right. you're talking about personally yeah, King one. Solomon. I'm talking about. Sure. Please let me finish. Please, I'm sorry. I'm not because you really smart. I really respect you. Um, uh, the the number of the type of wife he had was irrelevant to the actual point. Sure. The actual point is God said motherfuckers can have wives. Where? I'm, all, I'm only asking you to point it's out in the memory Bible verse. It's in the Bible and the Quran. You can't just say I don't Bible. know the verse. Oh, if that's it, I don't know the verse. But okay. it's in the Bible. Ask anybody who knows the Bible anywhere. It says it multiple times with multiple examples of mm-hmm. multiple men well, who were chosen I, by well, God. Their I, downfall wasn't having multiple wives. It was the, the their individual story. Okay. It wasn't the actual number of wives okay. or the fact that they had more than one woman. Men of status, of affluence, kings, so to speak, are supposed to have Let me ask one this, because uh, I know you uh, know the no, Bible pretty well. Was it, no, no, Bible for King Solomon, was it the fact that he had multiple wives, or is it because he listened to one of the wives that fucked him up? It was the one woman that was outside of his country that mm-hmm. God said, hey, listen, these women are, are evil, right. they're not of me, don't partake with them, mm-hmm. and he chose her. It's not a number, that he, like what he's saying. However, okay. that's so the number is irrelevant. Yeah, but however, it's listening to that one. However, yep. that's the Old Testament, though. Is okay. It, so if you say one thing, there's two parts, old and new. So the Old Testament, yeah, you could fuck... <laughs> Hella girls, bro, is what it is, bro. Those are the times. Yeah. New Testament is like, Jesus came to die for our sins. It's completely different. It's not like how it used to be. Because remember, right. sacrifices. That's where the monogamy comes in? Yeah. Yeah. The so, New Testament. And so it, it used to be fun, then y'all switched it up. And Paul mentioned you could take a, take a wife. Or not take a wife, but it's one one woman. Okay. Yeah. But I, I, get, I get what you're saying, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you're saying Jewish people who believe in the Old Testament. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. yeah no, I, I, and Muslims who's two-thirds of the world, one-third of the world, or whatever. Go at, go at it, bro. Wait, I'm can cool Jews have multiple wives? I don't know. No, no, no. But he said the Old Testament. And that's they what Jews believe in the Old Testament. That's what they believe in. Right. right. So right. It just depends on what you You wanted to in. say something? All I'm saying, a lot of men will say, like, oh, men are polygamous by nature, right? Yes. But I would say sin is also pretty, pretty... Uh, the sin aren't the same. It's, it's natural. It's, it's not the same. Polygamy is not a sin. Treating people certain ways not sure it's, but like sure, polygamy definitely. itself is not a sin lying to your women is a sin if these women definitely. are mine 
I love them dearly, and sure. I'm not going to lie to anybody, right? Definitely. Now, 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 mind you, I'm speaking as if I am polygamous. I, I'm sure. not. I'm not going to sit here and say I'm polygamous, but I, I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm really good at empathy, so I'm putting myself in a polygamous body. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Yo, it's, uh, it's justified. Bro, by, go ahead. Nigga said I'm wrong in the chat. Read your fucking Bible, bro. You know what I'm saying? Read the Bible. Cause nigga, you don't know shit, bro. Right. Come on, man. Ooh. Sorry, go ahead. You know nigga what said I'm saying? I'm wrong. Wrong book. The Bible verse. Uh, People you know. love to have feelings over facts. Y'all say it all yeah. the time, right? Like facts are just facts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Uh, Tom, you got anything? No, um, the last part of what he said, I believe it's, uh, I'm 100 percent in agreement Which with that. Part? Like what the part where he said, if those people, whoever in that relationship, it goes back to what I said to the young lady earlier. Whatever your relationship is, if you guys are okay with it, then I'm okay with it. And if it's, I've never understood how it is illegal for me to marry more than one woman, but I can go out and marry a grown ass man. Right. <laughs> or I can make babies with a million children, oh. with, with a million women, but I can't take three of them as wives yeah, it's, it's and, and have benefits and have life insurance that comes to the... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand. Like, America is washed That's as true. far as, like, laws and shit. But there is no verse that says you can't have, I want to say, standards in your own relationship. Like, what do you do behind closed doors? That's up to you. Yeah. But I don't see a verse that says you can't do that. No, you can't. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. and... We are too busy to get in other people's bedroom. It's like our right. bedroom is so Bro. fucking.